Welcome back to the LeetGo series and today we're going to be inverting a binary tree. So this is problem 226 on LeetCode and it says given the root of a binary tree invert the tree and return its root. Now you can see I'm using LeetCode and this was the next part which is trees and this is the first one invert binary tree. Okay, it's an easy problem and what we're going to be doing is inverting it. So given the root of a binary tree which is like this four, we have to invert the tree and return its root. So for root will be the same but you can see over here there's like a reflection over here we have two one and three so this is the root this is the child and this is the subchild left subchild and right subchild left subchild and right subchild over here we have four and then we have seven and then we have nine so basically this string over here is reverses here and then that nine which is over here basically is over here and the six which was over here is now over here so basically you flip this whole side uh, will be over here and this whole thing will be over here. So it's basically the invert of that tree now if we have this root like 2 um, Which is 4 on the root and then we have 2 7 now you can see over here We have 2 and then we have 7 we're going this way like this so 4 2 7 1 3 and then we have 6 9 um, It will be turned like this so 4 7 2 4 7 2 so 9 6 so which is 96 31 okay 31 so how do we go about this now example 2 says we have the root 2 and we have 1 and 3 so we just revert it so invert it so basically it's 2 and then we have 3 and 1 2 1 3 and then 2 3 1 oh okay interesting how can we go about this well there is a technique that's being implemented and we need to know the secret to it so how we can do this so what we're going to be doing is, you can see over here, um, just looking into it, any kind of common pattern or anything. And then over here we have root, which is null, and then output is null. The constraints, the number of nodes in the tree is in the range from 0 to 100. And the node value could range from minus 100 to positive 100. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be attempting this. Um, so here's, we, here's this, uh, you know, C++ solution which is class solution and then in here we have this public access specifier here we have a tree node pointer invert tree and tree node pointer root okay and then we have in here so what we have to do is we have to do the following we have this tree node pointer okay um, and then this is the root of the you know tree and then it returns a pointer as well which is a tree node now to basically go about this what you want to do is you have to check if the root is null if for some reason the root is null, what you're gonna do is you're gonna say if if root is equal to null, if if root is equal to a null pointer, what you want to do is simply return because it's not gonna be implemented there. So what I would say is this condition right here. Okay, so you want to return null pointer. Okay. Now, when we have to now invert it, we have to swap left and right children. So this left children, which is over here, this one has to be swapped with the right children, right? But over here, we can see is this left children has to be swapped with the right children, right? And this left children has to be swapped with the right children, which is over here. So it's like the most left and most right. Mm, interesting. So four, and then we have two. Um, and then it has to be swapped with seven. So it's basically like this Okay, and then over here we have one three um, And then we have six nine basically one has to be swapped with nine right, like that and Three has to be swapped with six Six and three like that Okay, so we're gonna be using something pretty cool over here. Let's go up here Um I'm going to go here and I'm going to tab, press enter, and we have swap left and right children. So I'm just going to put a comment just to tell you that we're swapping the children. We have a tree node pointer and we use it as the temporary pointer. So we say temporary is equal to the root pointers left. So whatever the root is, 
we'll get the left of the root. If you could recall over here, we have this tree node struct, and then we have an int value, and then we have a tree node pointer to left and tree node pointer to right. And then the tree node constructor that has a value assigned to zero, the left pointer is null pointer and the right pointer is null pointer. Um, and basically this is our constructor. Here we have a parameterized constructor with the value. We assign that value to the value, which is over here. And then the left pointer is null pointer and the right pointer is also null pointer. This is also a constructor. So this is a parameterized constructor. Then we have another uh, constructor, which is another parameterized constructor, which has a value, it has a left pointer and then it has a right pointer. We assign the left value, we assign the left pointer with the left uh, node and then the right with the right node. So basically what I'm saying is that when we have a temp, we basically have all these things. We have the value, we have the left and the right. What we say is that the left um, will we'll put the temporary and point it to the left, okay? Now, when I, when I do this, I want to basically have the left pointer stored here in my temporary okay and when I swap the thing so I'm saying I'm swapping it it's pretty simple to swap you say root left whatever the root left is exactly this is what's happening um, is equal to root right right so we have the left is equal to the right just like how you saw over here left is equal to the right okay so we're swapping it and then the right so root I wrote right will equal to the temp over here I hope you got this point because this is how we completely swap the things um, so this is beautiful we swapped it but now it matters for each branch like this is just like one branch this is like the root part right which is over here how are we gonna go accomplish it on these parts over here on the bottom the root branches right I mean on the sub branches so for the sub branches I'm gonna use recursion so we're gonna recursively invert left and right so I'm just gonna say that we're gonna use the invert tree okay and we're gonna call this function on the root arrow left and the same thing will apply until we reach like a leaf node so leaf node is a node which is which doesn't have any other sub branches so we're going to say invert tree root arrow left and then we have invert uh, tree and then we have root arrow right until we reach a root uh, node and then we just return uh, root so we have uh, invert tree tree node root and we have null pointer and then we have uh, in word tree and then we return root so this is basically the crux of the solution I'm gonna put a comment here to tell you that we're uh, inverting the subtrees here so just one second I'm gonna say recursively invert left and right subtrees Okay, so we're going to have this uh, root is equal to null pointer, okay? And then we have the left that equals to the temporary, and then the left is swapped with the right, right is swapped with the temp. Beautiful, conventional, basic swapping functionality. Once you want to do this, you want to have the subtrees being recursively called as well, so that they could swap as well with their respective uh, left and right child, right? So the, for only that particular reason, what I would do is, you know, you would simply have the left and right trees, you know, swapped. So you would have invert tree and then root uh, arrow left. So it just go down downwards, and then uh, the same thing goes for the invert tree root arrow right. So it just see, keeps swapping until you end up with a really nice looking invert tree. And that's basically it. We return the root at the end when it, everything is uh, swapped according to what our condition was. And now we should run it. So I'm using control, I believe, how do you run it? So you could use control and comma. So I'm gonna use control and comma. And this should run it for us. Um, and you can see all of the test cases have been fulfilled. And you can see root is 4271369. And the output is 
seven two again the same thing and then we have nine and one swapped right nine and one swapped and then we have six and three swapped so three and six swapped um, you know expected was the same as well as the output so the output was what my program gave and the expected was what had to be done again it swapped properly and the last one was the null case and it accepted it properly as well because of this condition here right so we are really good to go really great solution we could submit it using control and enter and once we submit it you could see two milliseconds beats 47.57 percent of c plus users and great job uh, we have submitted this problem and we could easily move on to the next one